Starting off at the top office, a major cabinet reshuffle took place this morning as President Moon Jae-in nominated seven new ministers. Our Blue House correspondent Hwang Ho-jun reports. Seven new ministers, including the new person in charge of Seoul's affairs with North Korea, were nominated on Friday morning. The Blue House called them qualified people who will bring substantial results. As President Moon is now entering the second half of his term, the latest cabinet reshuffle shows how much he stresses the importance of tangible accomplishments for the public, and to that end, the necessity of hiring qualified personnel with a proven track record. President Moon nominated Kim Yeon Chol, who has served as the head of the Korea Institute for National Unification, to replace the outgoing unification minister Cho Myung Gyun. The Blue House said Kim is known for his vast experience in inter-Korean economic cooperation and North Korean nuclear issues. Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology Professor Cho Dong-ho was nominated as the new Minister of Science, ICT and Future Planning for his expertise in the field. For the Culture, Sports and Tourism Minister, the President chose Park yang woo who served as Vice Minister for that ministry during the No mu administration. The new Land, Infrastructure and Transport Minister will be Choi jong ho who served as the Vice Minister during the Park geun administration. And for the Ministry for Oceans and Fisheries, Moon song hyuk a professor at World Maritime University, was selected. He also has experience as a first mate at Hyundai Merchant Marine. Two four-term lawmakers were also nominated to be a part of President Moon's new cabinet. Park yong son of the ruling Democratic Party of Korea, was nominated as a new Minister of SMEs and Startups. And Jin young also from the ruling party, was chosen as the new Minister of Interior and Safety. With Thursday's reshuffle, Four of the lawmakers turned ministers are expected to return to the party to run in the general elections next year. The Blue House said the nominees all passed the government's so-called seven irregularities test, which bars those who have been involved in either military service evasion, real estate speculation, tax fraud, false residence registration, academic plagiarism, drunk driving or sexual misconduct. The nominees will go through a parliamentary confirmation hearing before taking up their positions. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.